so by now i'm sure you are very clear about what a voice is so the voice is that form of the verb which tells us whether the subject of the verb is the doer or agent of the action denoted by the verb or not the two types of voices are active and passive voice in active voice we have the subject as the doer of the action and in the passive voice we have the subject as the receiver of the action now that we have learned how to change the voice of a sentence let us do lots of exercises related to that so change the voice the taj mahal is visited by thousands of people across the globe every year now which voice is it the verb is is visited and the form of the verb tells us that this sentence is in the passive voice so we have to change it in the active voice in active voice the sentence will be thousands of people across the globe visit the taj mahal every year so here the doer comes in the subject position in active voice and then we have the verb visit and then the object which is the taj mahal don't tell him anything now this is an imperative sentence it is giving an order or a command so it is actually do not tell him anything so here we see that this is in the active voice so we have to change it in the passive voice so how do we do that we write it as he shouldn't be told anything or let him not be told anything both these are correct ways of writing it in the passive voice so here shouldn't is from don't since we have used a contraction in don't we have used a contraction in shouldn't as well and since this was a command we have added the modal should so he shouldn't be told anything here him was the object and him is the object pronoun we have used the subject pronoun in the passive voice so he shouldn't be told anything also another way of writing such sentences is by beginning it with let so let him not be told anything now note in this case when i am changing the voice the him remains him and not he so when the sentence begins with let even in the subject position him is written then we have not be told and since we have a not in the active voice we have to use a not in the passive voice followed by the be verb and the past participle form told then followed by the rest of the sentence so the sentence becomes let him not be told anything now look at this sentence let the children enjoy the party now in which voice is this sentence now you might think that since the sentence begins with let this is in the passive voice but it is not if you look at the sentence there is no such form as b plus past participle form in any of the verbs so this sentence is not in the passive voice this sentence is in the active voice now to change this sentence into passive voice we have to be very careful now what type of a sentence is this let the children enjoy the party it is a kind of an imperative sentence where the subject is not clearly mentioned so we can assume it as you let the children enjoy the party also note there are two verbs in the sentence one is let the other is enjoy now when enjoy is the verb then its subject is children when let is the verb its subject is you so how do we change the sentence in the passive voice in the passive voice with let we are going to leave it as it is now if we just remove let what does the sentence read the children enjoy the party so here the party becomes the object of the verb enjoy so we add the party as the subject here followed by be enjoyed 
so enjoy is the main verb since there is no tense involved in this verb enjoy we add the be verb simply followed by the past participle form enjoyed by whom the children so by the children now you might think that we had mentioned that this is you let the children enjoy the party so somewhere there is a sense of by you after the children but since the subject is not mentioned here so it is not very important in this case so we simply omit writing by you at the end we write it as let the party be enjoyed by the children so be very careful when you have sentences like this the detectives were investigating the case seriously. Now in this case, what is the verb? Were investigating. Subject is the detectives and the object is the case. Now, were investigating tells us that this is in the past continuous tense. So this form of the verb tells us that it is in the active voice. So in passive voice, the sentence becomes... The case was being investigated by the detectives seriously. So we simply put the object of the active voice in the subject position. Then the verb form were investigating changes to was being investigated followed by the doer by the detectives and the rest of the sentence. So the sentence is the case was being investigated by the detectives seriously. The parcel may not have been delivered by the courier. So in this sentence, what is the verb? May not have been delivered. Now, this form of verb tells us that this is in the passive voice. So, what we have to do is change this sentence into active voice. So, our sentence in active voice will become the courier may not have delivered the parcel. So here you see may not have been delivered changes to may not have delivered. Now what do we see? The modal may remains the same. Then we have the negative not that too remains unchanged. After that have been delivered changes to have delivered. So we remove the be auxiliary verb in the active voice. Now here the doer is the courier. So that comes in the subject position in active voice and the subject of the passive voice becomes the object in the active voice. So the sentence becomes the courier may not have delivered the parcel. My aunt has brought me a new scarf from Kashmir. Now in this sentence what is the verb? Has brought that is in the present perfect tense. So the sentence is in the active voice. Now, to change it into passive voice, we need to identify the object. What is the object here? My aunt has brought me. So, this is one object. And what? A new scarf. So, this is another object. So, we have two objects in this sentence. Therefore, we have two ways in which we can change this into passive voice. So, we can either write it as a new scarf has been brought for me from Kashmir by my aunt or I have been brought a new scarf from Kashmir by my aunt. So in one case, I have placed this object in the subject position. So me becomes I, then has brought becomes have been brought because it follows I, has becomes have, then a new scarf from Kashmir followed by the doer by my aunt another way would have been to place this object in the subject position so a new scarf has been brought now here scarf represents a singular number so we use a singular verb has been brought for me now since we have placed the indirect object of the active voice after the verb here the verb brought takes a preposition after it. Brought for me. From Kashmir by my aunt. 
So these are the two ways in which we can write this sentence in passive voice. Now you see in both the cases after the verb you have several phrases for me, from Kashmir, by my aunt. You can change the position of this that is you can say has been brought from Kashmir for me by my aunt or by my aunt for me from Kashmir any way you wish to. Also in this case I have been brought a new scarf by my aunt from Kashmir would also have been the correct way of saying. Has he informed his parents? Now this is a question. So we have an interrogative question. In this case we have has informed as the verb. So has informed tells us that this is in the active voice. So we need to change it in the passive voice. In passive voice the sentence will become has his parents been informed. So what have we done? Has remains has. His parents is the object of the active voice that becomes a subject in the passive voice. After that informed. So has informed changes to has been informed. We have placed has before the subject been informed after the subject. We have always learned that in interrogative sentences the subject is placed between the different parts of the verb. In this case we also see we have a subject he which we have omitted in the passive voice because it is a pronoun and it is not very important to the meaning of the sentence we can choose to omit writing. Even if we have written it as has his parents been informed by him even that would be a correct answer. The committee needs to take a decision. Now here what do we have? Need to take. Now here we do not see a be verb at all. So this sentence is not in the passive voice. It is in the active voice. So to change it into passive voice, how do we write? A decision needs to be taken by the committee. Now whenever you have this verb needs, we change the sentence in the passive voice in a different way. So what do we do? The committee needs to take what? A decision. So the object comes in the subject position. Needs remains the same. So we keep the verb intact. Now to take becomes to be taken. So we even keep this word to. After that we add a be verb. Then we add the past participle form of the verb. Followed by the doer. By the committee. So here the sentence becomes a decision needs to be taken by the committee. So today we have seen that given a sentence how we can identify whether a sentence is in the active voice or in the passive voice just by looking at the verb and how we can change the voice of a sentence. Now that you know all the rules of transformation from active to passive and from passive to active, you can take up as many examples as possible and practice. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.